Gerald Gables, Florida ACC Basketball presented by your local Ford dealer. And the matchup this afternoon, the NC State Wolfpack are in town to take on the Miami Hurricanes. They've played 12 times as ACC opponents. They've split them right down the middle, each team with six victories. It is so great to have you with us for ACC Basketball. Tom Wormy along with Mike Jaminski. Mike, I don't know if we'll see 212 points again like we saw on Wednesday with Cornell and Miami, but these are two very closely matched teams. Well, and the thing about it, Tom, too, is they're almost mirror images of one another. They like to turn you over. They like to score on the open floor. It's going to be an interesting matchup. How about the performance on Wednesday by Isaiah Wong? 36 points, a career high. He is our hearty star to watch. Well, and the thing about it that you like is he was so very efficient in that game, Tom. I mean, 11 of 17 from the floor knocking down the threes, spreading things out, and did other things as well. The three-pointer also, stepping back, he made five threes, Mike, and that tied his career high. He even scored with one shoe on and one shoe off in the game. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, it was his night, but when he's scoring at all three levels, he is almost impossible to guard. Very quick, very good with the ball in the pain area, and then stretches you with that jump shot. Most points scored by a Miami player in 15 years for the Canes. All right, on the other side of the court, there's a high-scoring duo for NC State. Joyner and Smith come Combined for 62 points on Tuesday to win against Coppin State. They're part of the fresh market. Discover the best. Yeah, you look at it, and Terquavian Smith really picked up where he left off last year, although he is passing the ball much better this year, and uh, Joyner coming in, giving them uh, one of the best backcourts in the league. We are moments away from ACC basketball from Miami and Coral Gables. It's the Canes and the Wolfpack, the first of two meetings this season, and we'll have it for you. Those starting lineups, the opening tip, this is ACC basketball. Simply breathtaking, South Beach, Miami, Coral Gables. Watts go center for our game this afternoon of the ACC, NC State, and Miami, their 28th all-time meeting. Here's our starting lineups brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. A slight change in that starting lineup for NC State. DJ Burns gets his second start of the season, and that's because of the injury to Dushan Mahorchich. A right knee injury, a dislocated patella against Coppin State on Tuesday. He's out indefinitely for NC State. They're 8-2 on the season. 0-1 in conference play. For the Miami Hurricanes, their starting lineup, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers, and this is the lineup you have seen all season for the 9-1 Canes. And Norchad O'Meara made the defensive play at the end of the game against Cornell on Wednesday, went out to contest a three-pointer that would have put Cornell ahead very late in that game. He blocked it without fouling. Miami won it by two, 107-105 on Wednesday against Cornell. And, uh, you know, the one thing about D.J. Burns, very gifted, great feet, good hands, um, not in the best condition right now, and it's going to be the thing, let's look at him and see how his minutes go here early. I think it's probably a good job of Kevin Keats to get him in at the start. And we see him on the bench, on the sidelines. Ninth season overall. Seventh season with the pack. He's 98-70. Last year they went 11 and 21, Mike. Just four wins at ACC play and lost in the first round of the ACC tournament. So far this year, a bit of a different story. Well, for NC they, State, they've won four of their last five. He's got he's got some great players through the portal and uh, Jerko Joiner and uh, also a whole new coaching staff uh, with him as well. So a, a fresh start for the Wolfpack this year. Although the injury to Mahorchic hurts them. You know, and uh, Kevin was telling us before the game about, man, it's like it was Manny Bates last year, 40 seconds into the season, and he got hurt. And, uh, you know, like Mahorsic wasn't putting up eye-popping numbers, but still was a very key part of their rotation up front. 39 seasons on the bench in college basketball for Jim Laranaga, 12th year as the head coach of the Canes. has 235 wins, the most in the school history. Seven times as the Miami head coach, his teams have won 20 games or more, and that is a school record. Miami's in the white, NC State, the red, and the Canes have the ball to start our game. What did Jim Laranega say in that practice 
yesterday, Mike. Attack, right? I think we're going to see some of that. Yeah, in all phases of the game, too. And, uh, and you know, I, for, for both teams, this will be a little bit more conventional game than what we saw on Wednesday against Cornell. They, they just play such a unique style. But these, these two teams very much mirror images of one another. Although NC State does lead the ACC in scoring. Close to 82 points per game for the Wolfpack. We get a look at Burns spinning baseline sweet move from the big man. There you go I mean, You know in in the half court really terrific. They want to go right at O'Meara Maybe pick up some early fouls with him, but great spin move great touch inside Keep in mind Burns is 6'9 275 pounds long didn't get the bounce O'Meara had a chance at it out of bounds And we're gonna stay at this end of the court you know, right now, probably about 20 to 25 pounds north of where you'd like him to be, but that was a very sweet move along the baseline. The graduate student from Rock Hill, South Carolina, spent three years at Winthrop University in the Big South. He was player of the year in that conference a season ago. O'Meara extending the range, grazing the rim. Yeah, I mean, the big thing for him is going to just be pace of play, and uh, he actually beats O'Meara down the floor. So Omir, by the way, has only made two threes in his career, Mike. He was one of four from beyond the arc this season. Does his best work off the offensive glass. They don't really have to run a ton of plays for him. Wow. Smith. Quick distance. early three. Yeah. Miami trying to run it. Attacking the rim. Basket and foul. Jordan Miller. You know, he we, we, we talked about Wong in the game that he had this past Wednesday, but Miller really understated in what he did. 22 points, 8 of 11 shooting, and just beating everybody in transition. We talked about it. This Miami wants to get out and run as well. You've got to get back. Smith picked up the foul for NC State, putting Miller at the free throw line. 82% of the season. Now, Coach Laranega will tell you, he almost froze his own shooter at the free throw line, calling a timeout late in the game on Wednesday against Cornell, and that was Miller who missed. And uh, and you learn from that, you know, even all those years on the bench, you're you're learning something every game. He actually apologized to him at practice yesterday, and Miller said it wasn't a problem. He should have made the shot anyway, and everything ended well for the Canes with a two-point win. Gets Cornell out of the Ivy League. Hotler hangs and scores. Trying to go at Clark, get him out, use him, uh, get, you know, try to get him in some foul trouble as well. And uh, Clark comes right back. All right, let's go. Game on. Jack Clark. Not a great three point. Well, is, but hasn't, it hasn't translated into the game yet, but that's a big basket for him. It's only 23%, but he's a better shooter than that. Does have 108 made career threes. Long off the mark. Miller over the top. Smith took it away. A couple of players bumped together. Wong and Miller, and the foul's going to be on Wong. And, and a cheap foul. Here are the here are the two guys. Everybody else clear out. We're going to play a little one-on-one -on -one here. Wong or uh, Poplar getting to his right hand, and then uh, down the other end. Jack Clark wide open for the three. Now, you know, given his percentage, you're going to you know let him make a couple before you really go and contest that three let's see how he goes in this game nc state is a team over nine threes per game second in the conference and a great look pass from smith inside for two and that's he talked to the nc state people he may be best when he's playing point guard uh, his assist numbers are up this year and that was a great uh, creation in the half court smith has 5.4 assists per game mike and that's second in the acc going this year. Now here's the he's going to do one of two things. He get to the right hand and Omir had to come over and absorb the drive and uh, that left uh, Burns wide open. So Burns now with four points for NC State. Entry pass Omir against Burns. The number 30 in red wins that one. Mm -hmm. Omir a great position on the catch. He just couldn't finish the play. Turn around Smith rattles out. Easy board, Omir, leading rebounder for Miami in third in the conference. It gets about a quarter of their defensive rebounds. His pack puts some air under that one and Burns corrals it.
Joiner on the handle. Just watching him out there. Burns may be maxing out on minutes right now, but he does have the under 16 timeout coming. They're letting him go. Trying to lean into Omir. Too strong. Poplar. Miami working on a five game winning streak. Wong looking for Omir out of bounds. That is off of NC State. So we'll catch our breath, take a timeout. The visiting Wolfpack with an early 7 5 lead. Watts go center. Coral Gables, ACC Hoops. Back inside Watts go center. Canes at home, undefeated so far this season. It's time for our forward keys to the game with Mike Jeminski. But you look at it for NC State, they really want to try to contain the backcourt of uh, Miami as so much is generated through uh, Wong and Pack. Um, and, and for the Hurricanes, just be in attack mode. That was the word that Jim Lopernega was using at practice yesterday, and they wanted to use that in all phases of the game. He wasn't just using it, Mike. He was, like, yelling it to the rafters. Trying to keep his guys in the right frame of mind. Shot attempt on the baseline by Wong and fouled in the act of shooting. Clark picked up the foul. As Wong steps to the line, Mike. Let me just give you his robust numbers from Wednesday against Cornell. 36 points, career high, most by an ACC player this year. Five of eight from three, that tied a career high. And nine of nine from the free throw line. Six assists as well. He led the team in that category. Yeah, and you look at it before that game. Now, his field goal percentage took a big jump because of that. But he was a, a high-volume shooter to get his numbers, but was very efficient in that game. And because of the 36 points, he's up to 15.6 points per game. Wong is the leading scorer for the Kings. Smith. Go inside a congested area. Hell ball, and the arrow is going to favor NC State with Dewana in the game, number 21 in red and white. Yeah, we were again with the uh, with the injuries. We weren't wondering where the minutes were going to come from, but Dewana is uh, he and Burns look like they'll absorb most of it, and that looked like a lot of ball. A little step back from Joiner. Joiner, the transfer from Ole Miss. And, and both uh, both Joiner and Smith taking their time getting into the offense here. That's the first points between either one of them. How about Joiner? 125 career games. Miller, long rebound. Back on the run. Pull up from three. Front rim from Joiner. Smith will try it, and he'll hit it. So much for waiting to get into the offense for the uh, for the backcourt for the Wolfpack. The last five points. Nobody takes more threes. Nobody makes more threes for NC State. For Quavian Smith, that's an easy two at the other end. And Poplar. Very unselfish play by O'Meara. Saw that uh, no nobody was guarding Poplar. That was an easy conversion. Four points now for Poplar in the first half. Miami had been 0 for 4 its last four field goal chances prior to the popular wow. two. Whoa, stepping back once again, Smith. And uh, they had a good defensive switch uh, that Miller was off on him, but. And these are, he's not towing the line on these threes or whatever. You get the recycle right here, the offensive rebound, the kick out. He's a good couple of feet on that one, and even farther out, he's. It's from the U. Whoa, right there. Stepping back. From well beyond 22 feet, one and three quarter inches away, that three point line. Smith, by the way, shoots 35%. Here he goes again. The heat check came up short. He was even farther out that time. Pack needs a little help. Bensley Joseph is in there, number four in white. He went four for four on three pointers, and the Canes throw it away. Especially yeah, Joseph, just more than likely to be there at the end of the game. He's a finisher. Smith out of the corner, takes a tumble. It's a three, and he's going to the line. Third 
three-pointer of the game. Quavian Smith, sophomore from Greenville, North Carolina, all smiles right in front of that Miami bench. You see Joseph behind him. He made those four threes in the game Wednesday against Cornell. But so far, the three-story belongs to this man, Quavian Smith. A four-point play. NC State, Mike. Yeah, just like that, 10 points. And all the backcourt. 12-2 run. Floater, pack. Poplar had it for a second. Poked away by Smith. And that's where you, you know, that's a, that's a cheap foul that you don't want Smith to get. It's the first foul on Smith. Keep in mind, Miami on Wednesday, his long returns against Cornell had 66 points, Mike, in the first half, the most since they joined the ACC. Yeah, there was, uh, <laughs> there were a little. Omir bending the rim. Just way too easy on a direct inbound pass that time. But he's, you know, even at his size, that Omira play above the rim on shots like that. He made significant contributions on Wednesday against Cornell. 17 points, 12 rebounds, and his fifth double-double of the season. Down the lane, bounces out. Poplar goes up to get it after the miss by pass. Joseph trying to work around the Omir screen. Two points so far for Wong. Omir regathers on the block. Might have got bumped there. Well, there were two things that broke down there, which leads to an easy play. There was no pressure on the inbound pass, and then Duano got caught looking at the ball. So that was about, other than having nobody on the floor, that's as easy as it gets. Ron Groover, Tommy Morrissey, John Gaffney charge of the proceedings this afternoon here at Watsco Center. So glad that you're with us for ACC basketball. Trying to go inside to Walker and another foul against NC State. Well, let's keep an eye on it now with this lineup for NC State. When Omir caught in the post, they went with a double team that time. So Miami's got to be aware of that and their double team guy has got to make himself self available. So Duana just picked up his second personal. He leaves. Burns comes back in. And it may be a, a different story with Burns on the floor. Good defense that time in the inbounds. Three on one. NC State. Joseph tried to defend it in midair and committed the foul. Ross hit the deck. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, Jim Laranega talked about it that uh, if they lose the turnover battle in this game, it's going to be a long afternoon. And so far, uh, Miami down 3 nothing in that. Five times to the NCAA tournament for Coach Laranega as the head man at Miami, including the deepest run in school history for the Elite Eight a season ago. Ross is at the line for NC State. Poplar comes out. Christian Watson has come in, number three in white. Free throw shooting is not a strength of this NC State team so far this season. Just 71% as a team, and two misses for Ross at the line. That 71% is 11th in the ACC. Miami did not beat the count, Mike. That was, and, and it was not a press that was meant to do anything but slow them down, and it, and it was effective. I mean, just Miami very casual, getting the ball up the floor. That more, uh, more of a mental mistake than uh, a physical one. Smith. Shot clock at 10. 
This out of the corner from Ross. That was a three-point attempt. We're inside of 12 minutes to go in our first half. Watson. So Miami right now, Mike, 30% shooting. And that's now dropped down to 28%. Driving and scoring at the other end, Jarkel Joyner. Well, look, Miami 0 of 4 from 3, not shooting the ball well and also not defending real well at this point. Walker trying to clean up the mess, misses in close. Watson got it back, goes to the rim. Hearns knocked it away twice. And now Walker grabbed it for Miami. And a foul called in the mix. How about their Quavy and Smith? He's into double digits with 10 points in the first half and three of five from three, including that four-point play. 10-point lead, back. NC State up by 10 at this point, and it's been the backcourt. Uh, Traquavion Smith doing what he does on the offensive rebound, getting a look at three from right there. And uh, Tom, he's taken six shots, five have been from behind the arc, and he's knocked down three of them. And you look at the backcourt along with Joyner, 14 of the 21 points, five of the eight rebounds, and four of the five assists. Well, Smith is the leading scorer for NC State, Mike. Yeah, and what, what, were, what was the key for Miami containing Miami's backcourt at this, or uh, NC State's backcourt at this time? Not happening in the first uh, eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. So Smith to double digits. That's the 11th time this season. So he's done it in every game. Coach Laranega a bit bewildered. Just 11 points with 11.25 to go well, in you, the first half. You know the message was to the point because their team came out with some time left. There was a late break. It was an early breaking huddle for Miami. Canes have won all six games at home this season prior to this afternoon. Miller trying to create some space. Looking for the soft bounce at the Watsko Center, and he doesn't get it. And uh, so far, the, the guys who have been filling in for Mahorchitz have done a nice job this afternoon in uh, their different roles out on the floor. Mahorchitz out with a knee injury indefinitely. Yeah, that was pretty good defense by Gantla in that play. Joyner, dribbling clinic. Trying to get his defender in the air, and he does it and scores. That was about eight different jukes and fakes in a <laughs> span of about four seconds. Combo move from Joyner, almost taken away. Walker lays it in. Miami had missed its last six shots prior to the Walker lay-in. They needed that bucket. Here's the look. I mean, why he, he goes a long way in a very short area. Dribbling, and that's, that's really not bad defense by Casey, but uh, just so quick. He, he gets you to bite at all those pump fakes. And, I, you know, right now, uh, Jim Laranega is a little out of sorts with his team. Uh, that, that a very quick timeout. Let's get a quick message, Mike, from Works Nitro. Meet Works Nitro, powerful tools for any project with gas-like power without the gas. Fueled by PowerShare batteries to give you the power to outperform. So six points now for Joyner. He had 29 points, Mike, on Tuesday in that win against Coppin State, and that was at home at Reynolds Coliseum, the heritage game that NC State plays every season. And uh, that's a... All right, just way too easy <laughs> coming in. I was going to make wow. a point in the, just a straight line drive by Smith to his right hand. But that, you know, for Joyner, it was a bounce back game. One point against Pitt. 0 of 12, 0 of 7 from the floor in the game before. And that was the only other conference game. A loss for NC State against Pitt. Long, just out of control. Two points for him. Both of those at the free throw line right now. He's not involved in the offense. He's only taken two shots as well, Mike, and missed them both. Burns, power dribbles, double team, doesn't stop him. 
Yeah, one, once he throws it in the reverse, there's nobody on Miami's team who's going to really stop him one on one. Burns has six points now in his second start of the season, and that's back at the other end. He's been a nice addition this season to that Miami lineup. Transfer from Kansas State, first team All Big 12, with the most improved player in that conference a season ago. Omir is on Smith. Hit the deck. Omir from Wong to the other side of the rim and misses. Pack gathers it. Morceau causes that by hustling back and making him not shoot a regular layup. Double clutch three pointer from Wong. And Morcel came down with the basketball. And a foul was called on Omir. There's the look. Now watch this play by Morcel coming and uh, just forces him to go to his left hand and give up that layup. Overall, it's been a 20 to 6 run for NC State. Last season, the teams played in late December, and that was a win for Miami here at the Watsko Center, 91-83. So it will be a home and home this year. Pack unable to save it, NC State ball. Yeah, right now you look at it, Tom. Pack and Wong combined one of seven for the game to start. Pack has two points, Wong has two points, and as Mike mentioned, the Wong points have come from the free throw line. Smith burns! End of the clock. 29 seconds of really good defense, but that was a heck of a pass from high to low. Good catch as well. Eight points for Burns. Pack extending the range. I just, you know, right now it looks like Miami is just out of character with their offense. Joiner driving, absorbing contact in midair and laying it in with the left hand. Dark Kelt Joiner for NC State. Wolfpack just carving Miami up here in this first half. How about the acceleration, Mike, on the drive by Joiner? Long 0 for 4 from the floor. Trying to get the offensive rhythm. He'll hand that off to Miller. Marcel. Foul going through the lane. So NC State with a 31 17 advantage in the first half. Great look inside from Smith to Burns. And then Joyner, in midair, mind you, lays it in. ACC Basketball is brought to you by your local Ford dealer. The Works Nitro, available at worksnitro.com. And by the Fresh Market, voted number one best supermarket in America. All sorts of activities here in Miami and South Beach. Right now, the activity belongs to NC State on the scoreboard. Look at those backcourts, Mike, and the comparison between the two. Joyner Smith, Wong Pack. No, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, uh, Joyner and Smith. And uh, actually, they got, they were slow to work into this game, too. The first four minutes, they really didn't do much of anything. Then they must have heard the broadcast. They over. heard you. <laughs> <laughs> the last 10 minutes, they have been explosive. Struggles for Wong and Pack in this first half. So while Miami struggles from the floor to 27%, NC State right now, to the dismay of Jim Laranega, 59% for the Wolfpack shooting. Marcel is at the free throw line for NC State. He's one of the better free throw shooters for the pack. 86% coming in. 12 of 14. I mean, his, yeah, but his numbers across the board have been terrific. 52%, 50% from three. That 50% three point shooting 
for Morsell is second best of the ACC. Despite the loss of Dushan Mohorcic to a knee injury. Back in control, Omir, a serious rim bender. Well, that's the thing, I, you know, right now Miami had looked like they were frustrated at the lack of three shooting, but uh, they can work inside out on that. They need to explore things in the paint like that. This is what you do. I mean, nice pass by Wong. Things break down, and Omir can operate in there. I mean, he definitely has a, a quickness advantage over Burns, so if he can face him up and drive, he's going to be able to score. That was the first turnover of the half for NC State. See if Miami can harvest some points. Well, and the thing, too, was a dead ball turnover. Again, here it is. Long with the assist. Great look down low. Miller and O'Meara back-to-back baskets. That's now four assists for Isaiah Wong. Double right in front of our broadcast position. And stolen. Isaiah Wong. Had a steam and he got grabbed. Not a bad play by Gant. You know, he's got fouls to give out on the floor. That's what he's there for. So he stopped the rush up the floor. Look at this. The, just the screen. Miller gets lost in translation. <laughs> and then uh, this is the thing. That, that I'm sure that Jim Laranega says, hey, come on. Let's get more active out here. This is what we do. They're flying around defensively on that possession and they get the turnover Wong at the free throw line the miss for the junior from Piscataway New Jersey in his 106th career game in a Canes uniform Joiner stepping back smoothly he is an energetic player for NC State Mike this little like half court, three quarter court trap has bothered them a little bit. Miller for three. But see again, it's a it's a build out shot that time that Miller had done some work inside, got some confidence, got into a little bit of a rhythm and knocks down a three. Well, he's the only guy from Miami that's hitting 50 percent from the floor. First three of the game for the Canes. One of six as a team after the Miller three and Smith hangs and scores. Right now, the backcourt for NC State has matched Miami as a team in point production. 14 points to lead everybody for Turquavian Smith. Spinning O'Meara. Wow. Mike, that 6'7", 248, floating elegantly through the air. Yeah, but again, it's it's the quickness matchup. Um, you know, in the half court, Burns can use his girth and size. But for O'Meara, face up, lateral movement. Six points for Omir. About to cross the five-minute threshold in the first half. Almost knocked away. Burns turns around, gets the bounce. So he hits double digits. Third NC State player in the half to score ten points or more. Smith, Joyner, and now Burns. He's, had, so he's shown a nice soft touch in the lane, too. Miami right now well below its season average. Mike of 49% from the floor. Long stop and start and score. Maybe that gets him going. His first made basket made field goal of the half. Four points for Wong. Active D Miami. Smith. Fearless. Too strong. Here's Pack. Nigel Pack against the Wolf Pack. Joseph shook the defender. Looking on that unexpected shot, a pretty good transition defense by NC State, forcing that long jumper. Oh, they're really chasing the guards out front. Ross met at the rim. Burns got caught under the basket. Miller. Miller got it back in the corner for another three. He'd already hit one from the other side of the court. 
Again, that's the only made three for Miami. Now one of seven in the game. Smith elevates and scores. Terquavian Smith, smooth 16 points in the first half, Mike Jaminski. Yep. Uh, and uh, you could see it's <laughs> just the uh, ultimate confidence. And he got off to a quick start in this game, too. And a quick step from Wong. Yeah, and uh, he's starting to feel uh, he's getting a little bit of rhythm on his own, too. Pace of play starting to pick up both sides of the court. Pass for three in the corner. Burns on the weak side. Out dueled Miller. Inside of three minutes to go in the half. Jumper rattles out from Joyner. Isaiah Wong is walking up the floor, feeling the pace of this game a little bit, but still, you know, Miami's carving slowly into this lead. Basket here gets it under double figures. Amir again for three. It's the second three-point attempt of the game. Yeah, I mean, if you're Burns, you are very happy with him taking that shot. You know, he settles for that. He doesn't put it on the floor, make you defend at all. NC State is led by as many as 16 and a half, Mike. Miami had an early three-point lead. That dissolved quickly. Pass. Baseline. Long out-leaping Burns. Three on two. Reinforcements come behind the back. Walker to O'Meara for the slam for the Canes. Really nice break. And all of a sudden now, you know, it took Miami a little time to work into this game, but now they're starting to play hurricane basketball. Turnover, the rush up the floor, Wong, and some great passing in the interior. ACC Basketball is brought to you by Toyota. Visit your local Toyota dealers today. Toyota, let's go places. CPI Security. CPI Home Security that protects what matters most. And by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. What a scene here in Coral Gables. ACC Basketball on a Saturday afternoon. One of three conference games on the schedule. Tell me, how, tell me, we, you know, we've seen the Phoenix. How do you not be able to recruit this place? <laughs> I'd come here in a heartbeat. You can. That's what Omir decided to do. Good choice. He's getting a breather right now. NC State, just one of its last seven field goal attempts, while Miami is eight of its last 11. Ball back to the Canes. Right now is the closest Miami's been since trailing 21-11 at the 11:46 mark of this half. And we've got 1:34 to go. So glad that you're with us, Tom Wormy, Mike Jaminski, our outstanding ACC college basketball production crew with you. Yeah, I mean, you know, right here, Tom, go on a like a 5-0, 6-0 run to finish out the half. You're right back in this ball game. AJ Casey is committed to the game for Miami. Oh, no Wong on the floor. Or Omir. Foul in the lane. Ernest Ross. Still one of one. Second foul on Ross. So Miller, who had that spectacular behind the back pass to Omir for the jam moments ago. Brought the crowd alive inside the Watsko Center. Earned his second free throw. 82% of the season. Senior from Middleburg, Virginia. Three years at George Mason, Mike, and his second year in the Miami program. Of course, Jim Laranega yeah. has ties yeah, to the so George Mason program. Say, some, some pretty good things have happened to this program <laughs> <laughs> coming from George Mason. 06, Laranega took that program to the Final Four. We have a seven-point game. Marcel working baseline. Follow from Ross. Knocked around, and Casey was able to grab it. Pack looks over at Laranega for instruction. Accelerates. 
Or so recovered defensively for the block. Second good defensive play he's made on a layup attempt. Beverly all over Joyner defending. Ross just inside the free throw line and he banked it in. Wow, I mean, you know, again, between Ross and uh, Burns has stepped up and had a terrific half. First points for Ross, who averages just three points per game, Mike. Although he has played in every game so far this season for NC State. Shot clock is off. Game clock down to five. Joseph. Pack. Wide of the intended target. Really good defensive stand that time at the end of the half for NC State. Little mini spurt at the end of the half for Miami to get back into this one. Uh, Halftime score 43 34. NC State with the advantage. Pack shot over 51% of that first half. Mike, Miami struggled to just one of nine from three point distance. So halftime straight ahead from Watsko Center, where Miami has not lost so far this season. But the Wolfpack go to the locker room with the 43-34 lead. This is ACC Basketball. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. 43-34, not the 66 points that the Canes had on Wednesday, Mike against Cornell when they scored a total of 107 in a two-point win against the Big Red. Tom and Mike from our broadcast position inside Watsko Center in that first half. NC State came out running. What a backcourt combination, and they put up some points on the board. Yeah, oh, very explosive. Um, you know, just Terquavian Smith uh, just seeing a big basket here early on. Jarkel Joyner as well. The, the two of them, they were certainly concerned of Jim Laranagan. It proved, it proved itself true in the first 20 minutes. Here's our Continental Tire recap. And NC State had three players get to double digits in the first half, Mike, including Smith. That was Smith, 16 points, uh, 6 of 11. He was very efficient in his shooting, 3 of 7 from downtown. So very quick. Also a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists for him. Was damaged inside and then uh, Joiner uh, as well. Really a dynamic, explosive backcourt, and uh, he's come in a veteran guy, leadership with really control of the locker room, but also a, a nice counterpoint to Smith. Smith better with the ball in his hands. Joiner playing off the ball, but he can certainly he has an array of moves to get himself open. Now Smith also had a four-point play in the first half. And look at Joiner. Fearless to the rim, absorbing contact and laying it in. Joyner had 10 points, as Mike mentioned, on 5 of 7 shooting. For Isaiah Long, took a little while to get in the flow, Mike. Yeah, it is, you know, really a slow start to foul off, you know, out of frustration to begin with. Uh, two of six from the floor. Let's see if he picks it up, but uh, Amir doing some nice work inside. Miller with the behind the back pass as we take a look at the numbers from the first half. And you can see the struggles, Mike, from three point distance. For and Miami, just one of nine. That's why I think Miami's got to try to build still inside out. You know, don't try to get back into this game shooting threes and match an NC State that way. But also, they've got to defend better and bring down that 51% number. It's after Miami made 13 threes in their win on Wednesday here at Watsko Center. And NC State dominating that first half and maintaining the lead for the vast majority of the time. The Toyota Halftime Report. We'll continue from Coral Gables and Miami. Back on the Toyota Halftime Report. How about the triple header we have coming up for you next Saturday? Check your local listings for the game and time in your area. St. Francis of Pennsylvania against Miami. St. Francis is the red flash. So in the span of three games, Miami plays the big red and the red flash. Also on and Saturday. The Wolfpack, who's red? <laughs> and the red, 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 you get red everywhere. How about more red? Florida A&M against Louisville. Uh, Louisville still looking for an elusive first win as over third third game of the triple header. Mike Grambling against Virginia Tech, the defending champs in the ACC. Yeah, and uh, Mike Young, they're they're playing very very well. Continue where they left off last year. You see Virginia Tech sitting in third at nine and one. 
two ranked teams out of the ACC, Virginia, which, by the way, does not play again until they take on number one Houston and December the 17th. And the interesting team to me, too, is Pitt, who really got out of the gate slowly, but have, re have found their form, beat NC State for, their, for, for a league win, and uh, find themselves right in that uh, upper third. We've seen North Carolina with its four-game slide tumble out of the top 25. You might also mention that Syracuse had a victory today, Mike. That's three in a row now, 83-64 at the Dome against Georgetown. Big rivalry. <laughs> and, and you know what? Right? For me, and I know for you, I, I think it's cool that they've kept that it's rivalry awesome. going. It really, you know, th those two, I mean, that's a blood rivalry. And by the way, today at the Dome, Jim Beheim and Pearl Washington into the Ring of Honor. Yeah. So, really overdue accolades for those two guys and they'll join uh, all those great yeah. names. Pearl Washington, rest in peace, uh, was Absolutely. a teammate of mine with New Jersey, but they're a great, great college player. And we're just getting started in the ACC for 22-23. So much more to come, including our triple header next Saturday. How about this run by Miami? Wong, Miller, and then O'Meer with the jam. Thanks for watching the Toyota Halftime Report. NC State building that seven-point lead. It was as large as 16 in the first half on the strength of 51% shooting. And by the way, Mike Jaminski, they are 8-0 so far this season with a halftime lead for NC State. And here are the leading scorers for our teams. Yeah, we knew the backcourt was going to be explosive for uh, the Wolfpack, but Isaiah Wong uh, having a struggle this afternoon so far. But the big thing to me is the NC State defending without fouling. They're keeping Miami off the free throw line, shooting 34, 36% in that first half. So a really good overall job. You know, NC State right about their season. They can score the basketball. They only had 11 combined free throws from the teams in the first half, ready to crank up the second 20 minutes. And so glad that you're with us for ACC Basketball. Tom Wormley, Mike Jaminski, and our outstanding production crew. And that's Pack for three. Nigel Pack. And he was uh, relatively quiet in that first half as well. Lemire defending. Miller knocked it away. Poplar brings it up. Well, that was the same defensive activity they had toward the end of the half. And back to back with the backcourt for Miami. Quick timeout. Pack and Wong getting into uh, action. Miami made just one three in the first half. They've already got two in the second half, and it's a three-point game. Miami trailed by nine at halftime, but now it's a three-point game after a couple of three-pointers from the Canes. Just really dribbled into a nice, easy look from the three on that right-hand side. And, and both of those shots relatively uncontested, Tom. I'm sure that, that was the thing that uh, Kevin Keats not happy about with that quick timeout. Keeping an eye on that backcourt comparison. Yeah, you know, and they had him asleep, and they, all of a sudden now you've, they've got you know right. They've joined the action. So Joyner stumbled down, and a foul was called against Miami. Smith, just double team for the moment. Three corner bounces out from Morcell, goes out of bounds and stays with the Wolfpack. Well, that was it was interesting that Burns set that screen up top and they really stayed with Smith. They really gave Burns an easy roll into the lane, but they couldn't find him. More concerned with and Smith on that play. Canes have cut the lead to three. Burns on the turnaround, too strong. He hit double digits in the first half in scoring. Couldn't connect there. Hasn't been a three-point game, Mike, since it was 12-9. Credit Miami, no panic. You know, they got down. They were getting they were getting blitzed pretty good in that first half, but it worked their way back, and now the turnover. Clark angling in. Poplar came over. Offensive foul. That call came from the weak side official underneath. But very active Clark. Uh... Oh, 
looked like he did get squared up to him, took it on the chest. Poplar in position, according to the officials, Miami basketball. Mack has a three this half, his 19th of the season to lead the team. Right behind him is Isaiah Wong, who made a three moments ago. He's made 18 three-point baskets. Shot clock is down to six. Miller, got to the rim, came up short. Joiner hesitation, right hand off the glass, calculating the angle. And he knew he had Miller in that mismatch right there. He knew he could take him off the dribble, very patient move. I'm surprised, it's, it, and they're trying to, they're trying to get Burns involved in the pick and roll action, make him move a little bit. Mere misses. Quick outlet joiner. Down shifting to the rim. Got fouled on the drive. Here's that mismatch. And he had him in the open floor. The little hesitation. That just gave him a little bit of a room. And he's got that great burst. Couple of shots coming up for Joyner. Made five three-pointers in that win Tuesday against Coppin State, 94-72 at Reynolds Coliseum. O'Meara leaves the game. A.J. Casey replaces him. One of two for Joyner. Long comes away with it. Three of 11 on threes as a team. Casey flips it into the corner. Poplar. Yeah, that's the, you know, either Poplar or Casey out on the floor is who you want shooting the ball if you're North Carolina State. Casey picked up the foul in the interior, tangled up with Burns. First on Casey. <laughs> You know, we, we talked about his conditioning, but that first half burns 15 minutes of action. He held up pretty well. Hands it off to Smith. He can set a screen now. He takes a lot of room up up top. Freed up Smith to score. He leads everybody, Mike, now with his 18 points, 7 of 12, and three three-point baskets to his credit prior to that layup. After that quick timeout, NC State has settled down, so that was a good stoppage of action. Well, it was just a three-point lead moments ago. Now up by eight. Pack steps into a three. A lot of rim, no net. Underneath Burns, second effort. How about a third chance? Puts it on the floor, puts it up on the rim. Uh, and with Omir not on the floor, the opportunity missed there for him to use his size inside. Pack. On target. Nigel Pack. A couple big baskets in this half for him. Seven points for Pack now. Had an early three along with Wong. To cut the deficit to three earlier in the half. Joyner beating two defenders to the rim and he lays it in. Why well, it has just been a straight line drive, con you know, for NC State. They're able to get to the rim whenever they want. And it's an eight-point lead for NC State. Joyner with 15 points, one of three pack players and double digit he beats everybody to the goal. Pack up eight. Halftime lead was nine for NC State. It's now eight. Burns ten points in the first half, Mike. And that was his first move of the uh, game that got our attention, but it's been very solid inside. Picking up for the uh, the minutes for Morchich and uh, Morchich and...
sets a big screen up top, but Tom come in, 10, 10 points, eight rebounds for him. Very solid game so far. His season highs, Mike, in an NC State uniform, 14 points and 10 boards, so he's on his way. Although he missed a couple of close in attempts at the rim in this half so far, and right now he'll get a breather. Well, yeah, and that's, I was going to say that in the second half, conditioning may be a factor with his shots, and those ones that he put up were short in the second half. Nine points for Wong. Three of seven from the floor. After 36 at a career high on Wednesday against Cornell. Can't spin that one in. O'Meer had a shot at it. And he couldn't get it in the bucket. And the length of the defenders that they can put on Wong have bothered him a little bit. Deflected by Wong. Tried to go after it. Joyner ends up with it. Trying to work on Pack. Spins. Foul call. Pack was defending. That's the third on pack, Mike. Sends Joyner to the free throw line. One of two for Joyner from the stripe. Well, I, I think, you know, it's important. It's going to be interesting to see what, you know, Jim Laranega, and he's going to bring uh, Bensley Joseph in. He's actually going to bring him in for pack. And let Wong stay out there. Mike, stay tuned for the fast break presented by your local Ford dealer. I'm right here, man. I'm staying tuned. <laughs> Great to be alongside the 1979 ACC Player of the Year. All the way to the Final Four in 78 for the Duke Blue Devils. Mike Jaminski going strong <laughs> at the broadcast <laughs> position. And staying tuned. <laughs> 10-point lead right now for NC State. Miami made a run early in the half, Mike. Miller baseline. Miller right up against Jack Clark. He was determined to get to the rim. And that's going to be his fourth foul. So they come back in with Ernest Ross now. Twenty two points on Wednesday against Cornell for Miller. Had a chance to put the game away late with a one and one situation. Missed the front end and Miami survived with the O'Meara defensive play at the end of the game. But you know that's a great take by Miller and uh, for Clark to be out of the game. That's a big hit for NC State right now. You know Ross come in is not doesn't have nearly the numbers on the year that Clark does. Miller's got 13 points. That's the eighth time and fifth in a row. Double digits for Miller. He got the double digits 17 times a season ago. Smith chased by two defenders. Joseph and O'Meara. Joiner in front of his teammates. Great swing of the basketball, and he's he's a 38% shooter from three, so good enough that you really have to honor that. It sets up his drive. Open three for Miller. Long on the weak side, preserving the possession. Beverly tried to thread it to Miller, got knocked out of bounds. There's a look that this one extra pass, able to catch it in rhythm. Get a little love from your own teammates. Wong on the baseline. Smith and Joyner combined for 38 points in this game. 62 on Tuesday in a winning effort against Coppin State for that duo. Approaching 13 minutes to go in regulation. Joyner's miss taken by Joseph. On the run, Miller shovels it back. This is Wong. Awkward shot, and he hit it anyway for three. That was a great rush up the floor by Miller and had the presence of mind. Knew he had a trailer behind him. 
Williams really has a nice job running into the three. 14 points, Isaiah Wong. Just below his season average of 15.6. Shot clock to 10 for the pack. Really trying to sit on that right-handed joiner. Trying to beat the buzzer. Got the shot on the rim from Ross. Yeah, they were nice job defensively funneling the ball to Ross at the end of the clock, getting it out of Joyner's hand. Joseph, who had a career high four three pointers on four tries, hasn't scored this Long, afternoon. Wong was open on that cut from the high post. That time they had him locked up. Shot clock now is at three. Beverly has to launch it, and he hits it. Harlan Beverly. Four of 11 coming in on the year. In a, in a possession that was going nowhere. What a lift. First points of the game for Beverly. Even he's smiling out there defensively. Packed by four. Deep into the shot clock once again for Smith. Elevating the miss. Really nice defense that time by Joseph. Wong, Miller lays it in. It's a two point game. Timeout, NC State. 15 points, Jordan Miller. A 10 0 run for Miami over the last two minutes and 14 seconds. Beverly, the recognition, hoists the three and knocks it down. Miami has cut the lead to two with a 10 0 run, Mike, over the last two minutes. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, Isaiah Wong and, and Miller, too. It's been the two of them in this half. And uh, Wong, six points in the first half, eight so far in this half. He's been very aggressive, not only that, but creating for other people, too. Great throwback on the run in on the three. We're keeping an eye on the backcourt comparison. Joiner and Smith for NC State, Isaiah Wong, Nigel Pack. Miami picking it up, especially from beyond the arc in the second half. You saw Beverly just a moment ago forced into a three, and he hit it just his fifth of the year. And Wong with the eight assists. That's a new career high for Isaiah Wong. Shot clock again going deep for NC State. Joyner. Three ball. Jarkel Joyner. Nice play by Burns that time, creating inside. Didn't have anything off the dribble, and everybody collapsed off of Joyner. 23 points for Joyner leads everybody. He's got a couple of threes as well. Joseph, halfway down and out, out of the corner. So Joyner had 29 points in his last game. Foul's going to go against NC State. Jordan's got 23 as Wong. Ernest Ross. Yeah, I think Ernest Ross picked up that one. He just leveled Wong. Third on Ross. On the handoff. And, uh, and you know, you've got to come to a stop if you're going to put that handoff. And he just kept on going and ran his guy over. More like something you'd see for Dave Doran's NC State Wolfpack on the football field. Who, by the way, they're going to the Duke's Mayo Bowl in Charlotte, Mike, late December against Maryland. You a Duke's guy or a Hellman's guy? Uh, you gotta be, <laughs> come on, wow. Hellman, Hellman's, you got to up You're north. Really you be. Touchdown pass. Omir going up to the rim and Burns recovered to get a piece of Omir. And that's the thing. I mean, that's, that's just a, a great look ahead and you're taking advantage of Omir's ability to get out, you know, outrun Burns. Here's the look. Eye contact right there. Nice throw over the top. Actually, uh, DJ Burns, nice job getting back into that play to, you know, force Omir to put it, get it at the free throw line. First free throw attempts in the game for Omir. There you go. So you foul for profit. The most he can come out of that instead of getting the dunk is one point. 
Norchad O'Meer does shoot 71% for the stripe on the season. He's got one of two. For the sophomore and the first Division I scholarship player from Nicaragua. Went over 100 blocks in his career against Cornell on Wednesday. That was a real quiet 17 and 12 double -double, for right? him in that game. Very quiet. 40th career double-double, and he's got the steal at this end. Kane's down by four. Midway through this second half. NC State has led for the vast majority of this game, including a nine-point halftime lead. Joseph, tough catch. Volleyball around a joiner. And you know what? And the, the other thing Burns has done is he's been able to keep O'Meara off the offensive glass. The weak side, Joseph goes up for the board. Head up, wants to run. Smith on his hip. Off to Beverly. Spins it in. And could have been an and one, too. A lot of contact on that play, but he finished through that. And uh, right now, Bensley Joseph having an impact on this game defensively and on the break. Most of the assembled crowd standing in Watsko Center for Sell around the rim and in. A counterclockwise swirl to the bottom of the net. And that's his move. I and mean, he's been able to, you know, and he's, he's had some big scoring nights. He could be a factor in the last nine minutes. And on the other end, on a made basket, a Cornell Miami game has broken out this afternoon. Two point game, 8.50 to go in regulation. If you weren't with us on Wednesday, the teams combined for 212 points in that game. Miami won by two. Burns on the feed. He just always has his hands ready to catch inside. That's such a big key. A lot of big guys don't have that. Big bucket from Burns. Wong trying to answer, going up against a couple of NC State defenders, and it appears that Wong has earned a couple of free throws. Building is jumping all of a sudden here in the second half, Mike. And what's got them jumping is the defensive intensity for Miami. I think that's been the big difference for them when they've been able to get back in this game. They've been really active on the other end of the floor. Amir will get a rest. Andrew Casey comes well, in. And this is, a, you know, this is a great time for coaches to get guys a rest. You're at the 824 mark. You got a timeout, TV timeout coming in. Media under knife, underneath the eight minutes. So you can really buy them some good time here. These are the top two teams in the ACC enforcing turnovers. NC State leads the way right behind but, them, Miami. But right now, I mean, Wolfpack with seven, you with five. So it's been pretty clean. Burns is open. Smith found him. He's having a big time out there, too. Burns is the big smile right now for NC State. He is loving it. Big grin after that, too. And with O'Meara off the floor and Casey in, it takes pressure off him on this end of the floor as well to defend. Miller wants to drive and does so successfully. Able to get by Clark. Well, Clark's got four fouls, so he has to be very careful the way he defends. Burns has tied his season high with 14 points. Knowing that uh, Miami's got to take advantage of whoever he's guarding to attack him. from the corner somehow he's been able to get lost for jump shots and I don't know you know you got to lock in on him and on Smith Smith they've gotten under control in this second half game high 26 points for Jarkel Joyner Miller at the other end fouled count the basket chance for the three-point play the action is hot and heavy at each end of the floor. Miller at the free throw line when we come back. Clark done.
Time for Protecting the Paint. It's brought to you by CBI Security. And on the same play, DJ Burns, who's had an excellent game this afternoon, gets back-to-back -back blocks inside. His two blocks for the game. He's been a factor in the paint all afternoon. So look at him. How about 14 points, eight rebounds, and two assists for him. Very productive line. And he's having fun out there. He has flashed that grin on a number of occasions. Burns getting his second start of the season for the graduate student from Rock Hill, South Carolina. He's way above his season average, Mike, in scoring of seven and a half points per game. And that last foul was on Jack Clark. So he fouls out with three points at the 7.02 mark of the second half. Yeah, that's a big hit for, uh, for NC State. You got nine points, so a little over seven rebounds, 2.2 steals. Very good assist to turnover guy, but a long defender that's not out there on the floor. A guy who could possibly be checking this guy at the free throw line. Yeah, Clark also their leading rebounder this season. Again, on the bench with the five personals. Miller, old school three point play for Jordan Miller. Once again, it's a two point game. Miller up to 20 points now. So 42 points in the last two games for Jordan Miller. 640 on the game clock, six on the shot clock for Smith. Guarded by Beverly into the backcourt, only a couple seconds left. Has to let it fly off the glass, no good. Chance to tie or take the lead for Miami, Mike. We have not been tied since it was 7-7 in the early first half. And let's see what you got. Greg Gant in the game now. See if he can defend Miller. Burns tried to stop Wong from driving. He fed it inside to Omir out of bounds. Miami basketball. 11 points for Omir, seven rebounds. I'm in the bonus now for the rest of the game. Beverly throws it to Pack in the backcourt. Not a lot of time on the shot clock, Mike. I don't know. That was a great play in the inbounds. Pack trying to beat the clock, and he can't do it. Yeah, that put a lot of pressure on him to come down and try to find a shot with a couple seconds on the shot clock. So Joyner with 26, Smith with 18. Burns with 14, the leading scorers for NC State. Boy, they are really locked in on Smith. They want other people to beat him. Burns can't beat him with a jumper. Knocked into the NC State bench, and that is off of Miami. 5.39 on the game clock. NC State is led by as many as 16 in the first half, led by nine at halftime. Miami closed quickly here in the second half. Look at how they're playing the double team. They just locked in. They're Warren Smith and Joyner. Joyner grazes the front rim. That pass to Beverly. He's in for the jam. That was a tough pass in transition to connect. 67 all. 5.13 to go. Whoa, way early in the shot clock on that three. Canes looking for their first lead since the 18-minute mark of the first half. They led 5-2. They've come all the way back. And as much as 16 down. Pack who threw that great pass to a cutting Beverly just a moment ago. Omir has some space. Closed quickly by three defenders, and NC State takes it back. Joiner Burns poked away by Beverly. Ron Gruber calls the foul on Beverly. There's the look. I mean, look at this bounce pass. Comes up nice and soft, able to catch. And uh, tell you what, Beverly's had an impact on this game as well. Should have known this one was going to be close, Mike. They've played 26 
What did Kevin Keith tell us before the game? Yeah, turnovers. Well, plus also the scoring. And the, the game. scoring. Each team has won 13 times as members of the ACC. Miami joining in 04 05. Shot clock's at five for Joyner. That's an off balance jumper. Two really tough shots back to back by uh, Smith and Joyner. 0 for 5 in their last five trips up the floor for the Wolfpack. Pack shooting 47%, 42% from the floor for Miami. Advantage on the boards by two for the Canes. Shot clock to six. Pack flips it out. Miller! It is Miller time with the three. And Miami's in front. First lead since two minutes into the game. Marcel. Long on the weak side. Decent look, but couldn't get it to go down. Well, I'll tell you what, Jordan Miller. You know, we talk about the, the backcourt with Miami, but uh, he is a terrific <laughs> adjunct to that. Second or third scorer. Season high, 23 points for Miller. That was poked away. Will. Get a timeout on the floor. It was packed driving, and he found Jordan Miller. Second three of the game. 23 points. Miami by three. Inside of three minutes to go, Miami in the midst of an 8-0 run to take the lead. And uh, most of it has been Jordan Miller, too. You can't let him get to his left hand off the drive. And then Mr. Beverly has made a contribution off the bench as well. And then how about this fine? This has really been seeing a big basket the last couple of days. Well, Miller's 23 points, 22 against Cornell. Season high, those 23 for Miller. 26 for Joyner. Miami keeps it rolling with Wong. Well, and I think, you know, it has, again, it goes back to their defensive intensity, and then things have really picked up for them on the offensive end. Marcel, clutch three out of the corner. Capable, very capable, short of 50% from three. If he can come alive in the last two and a half minutes. NC State had missed its previous six shots, Mike, and hadn't scored in four and a half minutes. Wong, 18 points this afternoon. Shot clock to 10. Beverly, nifty dribble, looking for O'Meara up on the rim, and they cannot collaborate. Just a, not a good decision on that pass. He didn't have to throw that. Inside of two minutes, two-point game. Canes in front, trying to stay perfect on their home court this season. Marcel, who just hit a three a moment ago. Poked away Beverly. Two on two. Drops it off back. Foul, not much better play that time by Beverly. Under control, on the break. Nice dish. Here's the look, and then again, look at the, this is just out in the open floor. He just takes it clean. And then the conversion, is that a good decision? Well, Mike, weren't we just talking about the fact that both teams had not turned it over all that much in this game? And I think they're gonna look at this, Mike. Pack who went down. Gant fouled him. Third on Gant. Ron Gruber, Tommy Morrissey, John Gaffney. Looks like they're making their way to the scorer's table, although they're not there yet. Man. It looked like he was...
John Gaffney just came over to us, Mike, right? He spoke to you. Yeah, and it's, you know, the first time I saw it, but it, again, I thought he was making a play on the ball, but that one didn't look like it. This may be a flagrant one. It won't be any more than that, but that's what they're going to try to confirm. So your flagrant one is essentially excessive and or unnecessary. The key word in flagrant two is severe. And we'll see which of those definitions is met according to the officials. Or if none at all. Ron Gruber is coming our way to talk to Mike Jaminski. They looked at it and said uh, they felt it was a legitimate basketball play going across the body and uh, it's just going to be a common foul. So Pack is at the line, has not been there today, Mike. Seven points, three rebounds, three assists, Nigel Pack. And really has not been there that much this year. Seven of nine, right. Mike? Yeah, seven of nine on the season. Yeah. Good percentage, not a lot of reps. Pack has one of the six made threes in the game for Miami. Uh, just to give you an update on uh, my NC State sitting there only one time out. Miami still has a handful. And uh, Miami only five team fouls, so they can give away one before uh, they get in the bonus. 12 of 15 as a team from the line. This is now the largest lead of the game for Miami Mike and in the second half the free throw line has become a, a weapon for Miami Smith driving Burns That'll drop Great look by Smith to draw the defenders and give it to Burns He's got a really nice soft touch inside gets it up on the rim gives himself a chance for it to fall in He's got 16 points it's a new season high for him. His career high, remember he played at Winthrop for three years, is 30. Two-point lead for Miami. Approaching the final minute. Stop and start. Miller bumped. Burns was in the vicinity. It will be Burns on the personal. I, you know, it's not the call. I think that Kevin Keats is just a late whistle. This is where, you know, fatigue comes in and it works against the scouting report. you got to remember Miller is a left-handed player and he really wants to get back to his left hand. Six of seven from the free throw line. Jordan Miller, 24 points. And a couple of three-pointers. And a spectacular assist as well in the first half on a behind-the-back pass to Amir for a jam. He's done it all today, Mike. No team in real foul trouble right now. Coach Keats sweating this one out. Final minute in regulation. And even in here, and this is where Miller can play kind of center field off of Gant. Burns. Omir picked it up. Up ahead, Wong. Aggressively to the rim, Maiseya Wong. Miami by six. From nine down at halftime, Smith. Miller's got it. Wong. That one drops. She was going in for a jam, and it still fell. Joiner for three. Bounces out. Smith was fouled by Omir. Oh, and, a, <laughs> and the last thing you wanted in that situation, I mean, you're up eight. You don't want to stop the clock. And they wanted to foul here, but uh, couldn't get it done. And Wong makes a pay at the other end. That was a, that was a foul, just a, a no call right there, but 
My goodness. He's still got it to fall, Mike. 22 points for Wong and 16 in the second half. He was going in for the jam, and it went in anyway. Smith at the line. Well, and uh, that's the guy. That's the guy that Miami has really kept in check in the second half. Quavian Smith has really not done a lot in the two points. And it's still two points. One free throw to come for Smith. Looks like the clock moved, Mike. I think it moved. It moved? So they're going to have to adjust that. Coach Keats looking over at the scorer's table. Okay, so well, what the what the what the timer thought was that there were only two free throws exactly, Mike. instead of three, so he anticipated the miss. Smith makes the third, so it's a seven-point game, eight point nine on the game clock. So you would think that NC State needs to foul in a hurry and put Miami at the line where the Canes are 14 of 17 in the game. How about our two games in Coral Gables, Mike? What do you think? Well, the thing that, you know, the, the Cornell game, I mean, that's just such a, a, a you, you know, they play such a different style. And then we talked about at the very top of the broadcast, and you've said it on a number of occasions, these two teams mirror images, and we expect a close game. That's that's what we have with about nine seconds to go. Yeah, but I thought that, you know, early in the game that NC State was really doing what they wanted to offensively, and then toward the end of the half, the defensive intensity picked up for Miami, and then the second half, especially when Smith was involved in pick and roll and stuff, they got the ball out of his hands for the most part. And remember, Miami struggled making just one three in the first half. They made their first two three-point attempts to set a little bit of a tone in the second half. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Miami Hurricanes. They've been strong at home, and they'll welcome Virginia there, the number three team in the nation. Miami hasn't lost at home. And, uh, they uh, they may they? have a, yeah, they have I mean, after this next poll coming out. If they can win. hang on here. Yeah. We've got time on the clock, and the issue is settle. This would be an epic comeback <laughs> if it we, happened. We have seen wilder things. And that was, they were, but they were really lucky on that. And on the no. inbounds, that's it. Nothing. Yeah. NC State won't contest. So Miami finishes the game on an 18 to 6 run. Jim Laranega has career win number 706 and it was a fight for 40 minutes, Mike. Well, and I think the thing you know, you look at uh, you look at Miami and all the talk of the backcourt, uh, Jordan Miller is a name that people better get used to in this league cuz he's a star and he's a big part of what's going to happen here in Miami. So Miller with 25 to lead the way for Miami, Mike. 26 for Joyner led everybody, and Wong had 22. So, yes, it took them a little bit to get rolling. They trailed by nine at halftime. But the Canes came on strong in the second half, and Jordan Miller was such a huge part of that. Field goals, assists. Free throws, momentum but, kept it rolling. But again, what you know, what uh, Jim Laranega told us yesterday, the turnover. That number is going to be crucial. Whoever wins that number, and even though you know NC State didn't turn it over a ton, Miami turned it over less, and uh, they really made some good plays in the open floor in that uh, in that second half, and you know played <laughs> played a great game. Six made threes in the game for Miami as well, and five in the second half. And the Canes have now won six in a row after winning their first four games of the season. And Mike, they're undefeated at home at Watsko Center. They're seven and zero, oh. and it took a comeback. I mean, they trailed by as many as 16 in the first half against NC State. It's high fives all around for Jim Laranega. Yeah, no, a great win, and he talked about it. He said, "Hey guys, our, our home ACC opener." 2-0 um, for them. Terrific start as they get, uh, get rid of this ACC season. Yeah, 0-2 in the ACC for NC State. 80-73 is our final for Mike Jaminski and our entire crew. 
I'm Tom Wormy. Thanks for watching, and so long. From Coral Gables, it's the Canes on top of the pack.